Milk and the Magic Time Machine. It was a school day in Foodland, and today Mr. Mash was teaching his favourite lesson, history. Mr. Mash loves teaching history. Today was especially fun for him as he got to teach his students about his favourite things, dinosaurs. Good morning, class, he smiled. Now, who can tell me something about the dinosaurs, he asked. Oh, oh, sir, sir, they were giant reptiles, sir, with razor sharp teeth and really, really scary, said Sausage. Yeah, agreed Carrot. They like to go around fighting each other and biting each other's heads off. Ha! <laughs> Thank you for that, Carrot, laughed Mr. Mash. They lived over 65 million years ago, added Beans, and they got wiped out by a giant asteroid. Very good. Mr. Mash was impressed. Sir, sir, wouldn't it be cool if we could travel back in time and see a dinosaur? said a voice from the back of the classroom. It was milk. Yes, indeed, but we would need a time machine to do that, joked Mr. Mash, and that gave milk a fantastic idea. Later that day, he stayed behind after school and began to build something in the science lab. Mr. Mash and Mr. Tangerine had finished their lessons for the day and were about to go home when they spotted milk through a classroom window. Hello, milk, smiled Mr. Mash. What are you up to? I'm building a time machine, replied Milk, a magic time machine. Both Mr. Mash and Mr. Tangerine thought the idea was fantastic, but they had their doubts about whether it would work or not. Nevertheless, they both offered to help Milk finish building it. A week later, the magic time machine was all ready to go. Now somebody had to test drive it. Woohoo! Sausage, beans and carrot had just finished having a game of basketball on the school hardcore when they saw Milk holding some important equipment. What's he up to? Come on, guys, let's follow him and see. Carrot was a very nosy vegetable. <laughs> they followed him to the science labs, where Mr. Mash and Mr. Tangerine were both waiting for him. Are we all set? asked Mr. Tangerine, who was feeling rather nervous. Yes, step inside the time machine. Meanwhile, out in the hallway... Did you hear that, Sausage? said Beans. Milk has built a time machine. That is so cool. Sir, sir, can we have a go? Sausage, beans and carrot burst through the doors into the science lab. Of course, smiled Milk. There is plenty of room. So Sausage, Beans, Carrot, Mr. Mash and Mr. Tangerine all joined Milk inside the time machine. Now what happens, asked Sausage impatiently. We close the door and press this button, said Milk. Then he tapped the controls with his magic wand and said the magic words. Abracadabra. Suddenly there was a loud flash, bang, whoosh, swoosh, pop, pop, boom. The time machine disappeared in a cloud of smoke and began travelling back through time. It kept going and going and going until it reached 65 million years BC, the time of the dinosaurs. Milk opened up the door to find out the time machine had landed in a giant jungle. Wow, it worked, he smiled. Where are we? asked Sausage. Mr Tangerine picked up a giant egg that he had found lying next to the time machine. Mr. Mash, look at the size of this egg. It's absolutely ginormous. A look of panic set in across Mr. Mash's face. Uh, I put that down in quickly, he whispered. That's no ordinary egg. That belongs to a dinosaur, he said. D -d 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 Did you say dinosaur? stuttered Mr. Tangerine nervously. Sure enough, within seconds, the egg began to crack and out popped a tiny baby dinosaur. Oh, look at that. Mr. Tangerine wanted to get a closer look. The baby dinosaur licked Mr. Tangerine's face and let out a tiny roar. I think he likes you, laughed Milk. Go on, roar again, he said. There was another roar, but this time it was very, very, very loud and it could be heard throughout the jungle. Oh, that's the sound of a T-Rex, said Mr. Mash. I could recognise that call anywhere. That could be the baby dinosaur's mum or even worse, it could be his dad. Quick, everyone back inside the time machine. Heavy thumping sounds of the terrifying T-Rex stomping through the jungle got louder and louder. Hurry, Milk, press the button and get us out of here. I don't want to get my head bitten off, said Carrot. Milk pressed the button and said the magic words once more. Abracadabra. Then flash, bang, whoosh, swoosh, pop, pop, boom. But where did they end up this time? Well, you'll have to wait until the next story to find out. Hope you enjoyed this one. See you again next time.